Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled, Exercise is Not Enough. So as a rabbi, I think it's important for rabbis to talk about exercise as well. So mitzvot that I don't think have so much mazel, and Shemaz and Nafshah Sechem exercising, sometimes I think falls by the wayside. I find many people, B'nai Torah, serious learners who smoke, and to me that's a clear problem in terms of Shemaz and Nafshah Sechem. People started years ago, it's very, very hard to stop, and I'm not putting myself in anyone else's shoes, someone who has nicotine addiction, that's, that's a challenge, but to start and just be involved when clearly the health signs are against it, that, that's hard, and people should not be involved in that, and a healthy diet and exercise is something it's a mitzvah, and rabbi should talk about this topic. In the era, era of exercise, most research, there's so much research, so much endless, endless studies, double-blind studies, good, solid studies from around the world, that consistent exercise is good for one's health, about 150 minutes a week, approximately 30 minutes a day, about five days a week where you're pushing yourself, the heart rate is up, you're breathing heavier, you know, you're pushing yourself. Almost everyone agrees that that is good for the body, for the muscles, for the heart, lessens the chances for disease and cancer, diabetes, and so many other things. That's very well documented. However, person goes ahead, jogs, swims, bikes, brisk walk, 30 minutes a day, five days a week. He's good to go now, right? And a healthy diet, obviously. And what is he doing the rest of the day? He's sitting in his chair. He sleeps seven hours a day, a night, seven, eight hours a night, and the rest of the day he's sitting in his chair. He's learning in the basement mattress. He's working in the office, or he's splitting the day. Six hours on in the basement mattress and five hours at work, sitting, sitting, sitting. Yeah, but he already did his 30 minutes a day of exercise. He's done. Research has been showing not enough. 30 minutes has certain benefits, ve ve tremendous benefits, that's true. But, in addition, sitting is unhealthy. It doesn't matter that you did your exercise for the day. Sitting is unhealthy. For hours and hours a day, it's not healthy. The article written by Greenwich Reynolds in the Science Times on June 22, 2018, says that exercise in 30 minutes a day leaves us plenty of time for other activities, the primary one of which, besides sleeping, tends to be sitting. A typical office worker can easily log more than 10, 11 hours a day. We would add in someone who's learning in the basement medicine also as hours and hours a day. These long stretches of sitting have been associated with a variety of health concerns, including increased risk for diabetes, obesity, and poor cholesterol pro profiles. So it's very, very important. It's an area they're doing a lot of research on. There's been a tremendous research on, on a rigorous exercise, 30 minutes a day for five days a week. That A lot of documented studies on that. But the, uh, the research on what about the rest of the day, that's a new field they're working on a lot. And indications so far are that in addition to the exercise one should do each day, try to avoid sitting long periods of time. Walk around, stand up at your desk. There's even a slow, slow treadmill that a person can work at a treadmill desk. That also is very beneficial. But the idea is not to be uh, satisfied that I'm doing my 30 minutes a day. Oh, I'm done. No. We should have in mind, keep moving and not sitting. And everyone should be good health.